you are listening to the OmniTalk Fast Five, brought to you in partnership with the A&M Consumer and Retail Group, Firework, SPS Commerce, and Sezzle. All right, All right, let's keep moving. Let's go to headline number three. Etsy has debuted its very own baby registry, Chris. Yes, according, I'm excited about this, Anne. Retail Dive, Etsy unveiled the registry service after discovering that shoppers on its website have searched for a baby item every second. It's kind of crazy. For the past six months. With the registry, current and expecting parents can list the personalized infant, children, and nursery items that they desire from Etsy's international artisans. Uh, ben, where do we go to you first on this one? Uh, no brainer move here, or is there anything Etsy and its customers should be watching out for with this move? Definitely. And um, as a person with no children, I feel like the expert here, but you, de- you definitely should lead on this one. <laughs> yes, yes, yes Ben. This, it's yeah. good that we asked you to go first. Uh, yes. <laughs> Let me really step back and think of right the, the customer journey here. I mean, before. Ben, you're you're purchasing so many like newborn pacifier yeah. knit crocheted things you're probably buying your things friends, off registries right? right yeah my my etsy purchase has been large tables you know furnishing furnishing my home but um right. I'll, I'll step into this one as well i think you know for them right now where they are it feels very no-brainer um you know they're struggling this year because they had such a boom during the pandemic right everyone's shopping online wanting personalized items um but all the Everyone's shopping by by category at that time, right? And I think, you know, you see their wedding registry and now the, the baby registry. They're taking moments rather than, you know, things you just may need. You don't really know where they fit into as a shopper. So taking wedding registry, the, the, the logical next step, I guess, is, is baby registry, right, in, right. in that journey. Um, and it's getting more people on the site, not just for customized, you know, items, but for experiences that are, you know, big impacts to their lives. So I think it makes sense to them. It'll be interesting what's next. You know, the registry might be tapped out now. So what are those next, you know, moments they're going to be able to kind of include in this, you know, this new shopper journey they're 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 laying out. All right. So uh, net net you like the move. He likes yeah, to move. Yes. Chad Chad looks puzzled. Yeah, quizzical. Yes. What no, are you are is, you in is, agreement or are you just so blown away by someone who doesn't yet have children who is able to so beautifully articulate why this is a great move for Nancy? <laughs> I think you're just capturing the dynamic of having two of us on the screen at the same time, right? And it's like, what do I do with my hands while Ben is talking? I, you know, I don't, I don't know. Um, well, no, it's funny that, that Ben said that, right? Because I'm on the opposite end, and and uh, you know, my kids are 15 and about to be 13, and so much to the chagrin of my wife years ago, I'm I'm not in the you know, I got out of the baby market a long time ago, so I'm no more of a consumer of this than than Ben is. Um, you know, I mean. I, yeah, I guess I'm in the no-brainer camp as well um, because I don't understand necessarily the downside risk of doing it, right? It's actually kind of good timing because legacy players like, you know, Bye Bye Baby and, you know, right. Babies Are Red, like, you know, they're kind of in states of transition. So, Great hey, content. you know, come to us. So I don't think it hurts. Um, you know, I, what's interesting, though, right, is... Um, you know, my only watch out is more from an expectation perspective than, you know, some business model risk. Like, you know, I was looking up some numbers last night because, again, I'm out of the market, right? Like, over 50% of expecting parents actually visit brick and mortar stores to research or test products before putting it on their online registries, right? Etsy obviously doesn't have that. Um, you know, you're talking car seats and strollers and, you know, all that kind of stuff. Plus, younger demos... So Gen Z or whatnot, you know, approaching these these ages, right, are registering for fewer items, and they're more likely to create just one registry than multiple for the fear of appearing to be asking for too much. Oh. Right. So you know, when we did this back in the day, and you'd go to you know Bed Bath and Beyond and Crate and Barrel and Macy's and all of that, if you're going to consolidate to one place, are you going to consolidate at a place where you have these more like customized? goods which is kind of you know more of the assortment of etsy so i'd be cautious i guess of the upside but yeah. i guess where's the risk i i love what chad's saying there though because i i agree i think this is giving you the opportunity though to ask for the things that you actually want like what costs the most for people who are new parents who are investing in the baby it's the nursery it's all the stuff like the customized art that you're getting yeah. it's the bedding it's the rugs it's all the decor the st- things you're sticking on the wall like those are things that you can get now from etsy as a gift which to me is like right up there with getting diapers and formula 
right up there, huh? I, yeah. It is. Like, I, th- I can't believe it took Etsy this long. Yeah, no, I mean, I, I think it's a good move. I think I agree with you guys 100%. I agree with you. I think it's, I think it's kind of, I do think it's a no brainer move, but I do think you also have to be careful if you're Etsy too, because as you guys know, I think yes. I've said this on the podcast before, Baby was my favorite business I ever ran at yeah. Target. I loved it. I would get back into it in a heartbeat if the opportunity ever came back because I just love it that much. But I think it's a, it's a no-brainer because people, like you said, Ann, they want that one-of-a-kind item, mm-hmm. you know, and you can get that at Etsy. But you have to be careful if you're Etsy about how large you let this registry universe become. Yes. Because you don't want to be buying a crib from Harry the Artisanal Handyman either, you know? Like, there's a lot of product risk and product safety risk that comes from that. So you've got to be very careful with how large you let that registry item universe become or else you could be in a world of hurt from lawsuits down the line yeah if you're not careful and it's hard to keep a tab it's hard to keep tabs on that type of stuff and the average consumer might not be aware of the fact that you don't want to be buying your crib from the guy down the street yeah i wonder what the regulations are like do you do you sign a waiver when you purchase that stuff like i i won't hold very responsible yeah i don't know there's a lot of i doubt it like there's a lot of potential legal issues that could come into play here if they're not smart about this so hopefully they are Hopefully they have to think about it because they've probably been selling these items on their site for a while, mm. but selling them on your site versus selling them through a baby registry has a different attachment to it as well. So oh who boy. knows? Oh boy. All right. All right. Th- just rain on that parade a little bit. All right. Headline number four. I'm in London. It's raining. You know, I'm raining. 